Strong indication that if Nebraska wins here, the winner of the Fiesta Bowl might get the AP poll, especially if it's number two, Oregon. The Ducks, number five in the BCS, had five teams above them lose, could get no higher than fourth. Their opponent, Colorado, 25th in the poll back on November 3rd. So they're a late arriver to this national championship scene. With more in the Tositos Fiesta Bowl, Armando Silguero in Tempe. Big time Nebraska fan, so give me a go, Big Red. No. I can't do that for you. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't do that for you. The uncomfortable truth for both Oregon and Colorado is they must root for a Nebraska victory over Miami if either is to share the national title. Once that game goes off, you're going to see me red it out. <laughs> I have on everything possible, Cornhuskers. Um, because uh, if we do get this victory, you know, I definitely want to share that national championship. <laughs> we beat Nebraska. You know, I'll leave it at that. You know, I'll leave it up to the writers. If we do win this game, we'll have beaten the, the hottest team in the country, the team that beat uh, the other half of the national championship. Although the possibility of a split title hovers over this game, there are participants who believe they won't deserve the national championship, and neither will Nebraska. Nebraska will know in the back of their minds that, that we beat them and they weren't our biggest challenge of the year. And if they can really call themselves national championship, national champion team, if they win, you know, I think they got to put a little asterisk by that. I'm not sure this feels like a national championship. I'll, I'll tell you, because of the BCS and one of my coaches made the comment to me to be to win it, you have to be in it. And we're not in it. Well, in the bowls, just like this season, we've learned to expect the unexpected guys. But on paper, both defenses seem to be overmatched in this game. Well, you know, Colorado's a red-hot football team. They've won five big ball games in a row. And on offense, they're sensational. One of the main reasons why they're so good offensively, they got wonderful balance. They average over 200 yards rushing and 200 yards passing. I would not be surprised if Colorado didn't score 50 on Oregon. Now... With Oregon's Joey Harrington, a quarterback, they've had 10 fourth-quarter career comeback wins. So don't turn off the television. As long as Joey Harrington's in the game, Oregon could score 51 and beat them 51-50. Well, Joey Harrington, when you look at the Oregon offense, gets most of the recognition for the Ducks. But I think if you talk to Joey and you asked him, what is it with this offense? He would talk about the balance. He would talk about the running game. Ontario Smith this year burst onto the scene, the transfer from Tennessee, and of course Maurice Morris. Both these guys almost accounted for a thousand yards each. So the balance also of Oregon makes this offense lethal. I'm with Lee. I think it's going to be a shootout. <laughs> I don't know about 51-50, but it's going to be a lot of points scored. We'll get your predictions on College Game Day, yeah. New Year's morning. Winner of that game must wait almost 48 hours to see what happens here in the Rose Bowl.